Yes, this is a video for those of you who um, are troubleshooting an issue with your Segway and your battery has a steady green LED on the battery pack itself. This started from um, one day I was riding my Segway and it went dead and I went to charge it. It would not take a charge. I took the battery uh, off the Segway. I went to charge the battery uh, pack with uh, this the charger um, away from the Segway by itself it would not charge I saw one video where you could plug the you could cut the battery cable and, and plug them directly into here which um, believe it or not it did go from the battery charger went from green light to to red light but it, it did not charge it um, it had no help basically um, what it did was turn this green light on and at the time I didn't realize but I did think that because this light was on that I had a good battery and a bad board on my Segway so I ordered a new board and got it in put it all together put this battery pack on and it did not work so uh, me being me also I ordered a new battery from uh, more for motion and I received that battery upon opening it it had the same steady green light which to me meant a problem because this one had been doing it i'd already replaced the board obviously um, and, and when i plugged it in it would not take a charge so um, i sent that battery back and kept this one this is off my original segway mini pro that came with the mini pro i opened this up and i started testing the cells as per another youtube video but as i was doing that look right here um, i noticed there was a button here right here that you can push and make the screen light come on but as i was doing that i when i put my lead off of here this test lead uh right here onto here i noticed this slid watch see that that is that that is that solder is broken that solder joint now watch this if i hold it down Look what happens. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what your battery should look like if it's working optimal state. If you have a working Segway and you took your battery pack off, it should be, it will be blinking and not should, it will be blinking green, flashing green just like it is. And it will charge, etc. Now watch what happens when I let that, let that go. Three red blinks and back to green and when it's like this it will not take a charge no matter what it will not power your segway if it does it will say low charge there's a low cell or a bad dmc and i thought a firmware upgrade initially caused this problem uh because i had recently upgraded the firmware but that's not it going through here i started filling these and i felt those and then all of a sudden i see that this piece right here was moving so this is the problem this is going to fix the battery pack I'm pushing it down again watch it goes back to blinking green again if so i'm willing to bet my paycheck that when i solder this back and i put this battery back together it will charge and work like it did before and there's no problem um all the cells tested positive or tested good there were no dead cells so i was thinking to myself there's got to be something not right and i didn't see anything burnt uh so yeah lo and behold i ran by this and and that's that piece of metal coming up from underneath to touch this it's broken it comes up from underneath the board here as you can see it comes up from underneath but this is that's broken the solder joint's broken so it's not getting good contact when it does get good contact boom voila and i know i've tested because i got two Segway minis right there are working, and these two, that's the original, and this is the new base that I bought and uh, needs the battery. So I borrowed batteries off of that for a while, and then I decided to get new tires and yada yada yada. That's why these are apart, but lo and behold, and I can let you know, uh, getting in this battery was not easy, but these. Right here, I didn't damage, and these clips are what uh, hold the battery together, or the, 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 the casing together. I just wasn't aware of that, so 
but I can still put it back together when I get the solder joint done and it will work. I'll report back once the soldering is done, once it's back together, and once it's back on a segue and charging and, and working as it should, or if it doesn't. Either way, you'll know.